Hi, my name is Joep Driessen from the Calcium's Training Company. And I made this video for you to understand resistance in dairy cows. I want to thank Hipra, uh, Hipra asking me to make uh, this uh, video uh, to, uh, to explain why one and one is three. One and one is three. Vaccination and better management is better results. We can actually double the lifetime of the cow. Did you know that? If we double the lifetime of the cow, we have 30% methane reduction. It's huge. So it's good for the, for the cow, it's good for the farmer, and it's good for uh, the glass of milk, good for the planet and the people. Let's look at other health signals. We made this training on other health signals to let people understand how to work on infection levels, lower the infection levels, and higher the resistance. We made a book, uh, the other health book, it's a very nice, it's a very nice picture book in, in dairy management. It's all kind of information. And with this book, we actually make it possible in Holland that um, we went from 30% mastitis down to 26% mastitis. That is cases per year. And we made a large herd edition, uh, especially for the larger farms, with all kinds of interesting scorecards and protocols. So it's very good stuff to educate your farmers with. And now we make this video for you, because we think we can do a better job in the dairy industry. We want to help vets and farmers to do a better job to prevent mastitis. So you're a specialist in health, right? And most of the vets are, and, and then we have the farm managers that are very good in a lot of things. But I want to talk to you as a vet. I like you to become a generalist. Become more of a generalist. You have to be an advisor on resistance, on better resistance, on better health. But if you want to re advise on that, you also have to know everything about housing, feeding and management. And that's what this video is about. Improve management on dairy farms for two more lactations. Two more lactations for every cow in the world. We see it happen already in, 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 in our best farms. They go from 30,000 to 50,000 liters, lifetime production. How? By doing the right things. You need healthy cows. Health means no disease, no wounds, no lameness, and no antibiotics. And you want to work on stress-free. Stress-free means stress-free calving, stress-free stockmanship, uh, free space, free cow traffic. Stress-free for farmer, for cow, and for calf. If you do that right, the cow will be stress-free. So that means no shouting and no hitting of calves and cows. It happens too much. You have to drive them quietly. We have a lot of interesting information on stress-free stockmanship. How can we do it better? How can we get a cow stand up from a cubicle without stressing the hell out of her? Keep the cortisol levels low. Number three uh, is the basics. Work on the basics. That's the cow signals diamond with on the right hand, the very cheap part of the diamond. It's water, light and air. It's easy. Give it more to the cows and you will be more ha happy and more successful. So then you can actually go from three to five productive years with your cows. It's simple. With the right arguments and the right examples, every dairy farmer will change. That's our experience in the field. Three simple tips for every farmer, if you want to make it even simpler. A deep soft bed, a stress-free calving line for 10% of the herd, and a, and, and a feed place, 70 centimeter feed space for every cow. So let's ask Miss Utterhealth, because we designed Miss Utterhealth. She's very smart, you know? She has a very nice um, uh, uh, coverall, and she has two hands with gloves, you see that? So she's, she's a specialist, and she's in control. She knows what she's doing. She works on low infection pressure, and she works on high resistance. She knows everything about milking and she knows everything about treatment, infection pressure and resistance. That's the two things we're gonna look at. So first one, how do we lower infection pressure? Well, you have to know which cow is sick and treat her. Treat an isolated infected cow is the first big thing, but do you know which cows are uh, infected? Secondly, um, you wanna have a clean and dry surroundings, clean and dry and fresh barn. That's what you need. Clean, dry, and fresh. And then you have all the environmental bacteria that also uh, can be, can be uh, uh, diminished. And you see the different bacteria eh, that are in the barn and in the milk parlor, so you have to work on both. So how do you keep the cows clean? We make a nice checkbook on this. It's a checkbook of cow signals. And the scorecard is telling you uh, what levels do we have and how many cows are clean and dirty. And if you look at this, the clean cows are on 150,000 cells or below. The dirty cows are on 300,000 cells. And we're looking actually at, at um, the udder, we're looking at the thighs, and we're looking at the lower legs. Simple things. 
keep your cows cleaner and you will have less infection. Summarize infection, clean cows, clean udders, healthy teeth, so good milking procedures. Work on every cow with a clean towel and gloves because you can wash your hands better. You, can, you don't spread so much between cows in the milk parlor. And then uh, knowing which cow is sick or having some clots, so doing a good, good pre-check on every cow and look at the data. And we have, we have standard operating procedures. The standard operating procedures that we have is um, doing the right things always right. And that is, for example, working on a system uh, in the milk parlor. First, you prep four cows, one, two, three, four. Then you walk back to the front and then you, you, you collect, you connect four cows. So between the first touch and the connection, one minute or one and a half. And every farm in the world I've been, I do this little check. How quiet are the cows? How much time does it take? And they're just losing points there. So make a good procedure and educate your staff. So that was the easy part, infection pressure. Now we're gonna look at resistance. How can we improve resistance? Four things. First of all, health. Second, rest and uh, feeding, very important. F feed the cows well and let them rest. Number three, having a good barrier in the teeth end. Uh, that, that, that teeth end should be really uh, good in shape. Number four, specific antibodies by vaccination and by good feeding. So, number one, no disease. You see this cow? She's very, very happy, very healthy, shiny. She does an excellent job and um, uh, full rumen. That's what we want. So how can you keep your cows healthy, prevent lameness and prevent wounds? Because wounds is killing the cow. A little skin trauma on a cow can already cause an abortion. Did you know that? Archaenobacterium pyogenes is a pus bacteria that lives on the skin that comes into your cow blood system and will have an abortion. So, work on health. Do you see the happy lines on this cow? If you look carefully over here, you see happy lines. Happy lines! These cows are happy because they can rest. All the cows are resting. But actually what you see is uh, uh, the lines of the intercostal uh, muscular is pushed outside by a, by, by a very full rumen. So this cow has a very full rumen, very good, effective, efficient rumen, and a shiny skin. And these th two things together will show happy lines on the side of the cow, on the widest part of the cow. And that makes that these cows are happy. And why is she happy? Because she has a nice soft bed to rest in. So they need a soft deep bed. But what you don't want to see is wounds. And here you see the wounds. The wounds are really bad. You see them everywhere. So can you see the difference between good and bad? How, how good can you see the difference between good, good, and bad? It's not easy. But you have to look at the details. Yeah? Backbones, um, uh, neck wounds, uh, lameness, uh, other damage, dirty tails. Learn to see position of the head. Learn to see all these things. And you can quicker score cows and doing a good job. The main reason I do this, this, this training for already 20 years is actually that I feel sorry for the cow. I hate to see a lame or wounded cow. And you see a lot of interdigital and digital dermatitis. The infection of the claws. So what can you do about it? Well, we made a whole hoof signals, uh, five hour video training on this or a, a live training in June. Come and have a look. Every year we have these very good trainings on this subject. How to prevent lameness. It's the first big thing in, in animal welfare and health. And then you also have less mastitis. So working on good claw health is a must. Feed intake, number two, cows should eat, especially around calving. They must eat around calving. So what can you do? A lot of things you can do to let cows eat better, and they're all listed up here, but um, the best thing you can do is make a stress-free calving line for the cows two weeks before and two weeks after calving. So this is Ari, and Ari is really good in uh, taking care of his cows. So he has a stress-free calving line, when he had 90 cows, he already had a stress-free calving line for six cows, but now he tripled it to 18 cows, and he has only 140 cows milking now. So he made it three times bigger because he saw it was so successful. So he's very experienced with this. He made it already for 10 years ago. He made this stress-free calving line, and he says this is really um, paying the bills because the cows rest and eat. They do what actually what they have to do. Excellent job, stress-free calving line, two weeks before to two weeks after calving. That's what you need.
And then we made this next innovation. Well, it's all from the best farmers in the world that inspire us to do things better. And uh, this is actually the, the pamper pan and the cuddle box. It is a stress-free carving line that you look at. And you have a cuddle box where the baby is in the box and where the mother can lick the baby. And when you milk the cow when she's licking the baby, you get tremendous results. The first thing, the perfect colostrum, 95% of the cases is top quality colostrum will go right into the baby within one hour after calving. If you do a pamper pan and a cuddle box, that's probably the biggest tip I can give you on this video. The feed intake, you can check it by, uh, of course, by uh, the, the condition score and by uh, the manure on the cow and the manure on the floor. So see how good they are eating and why are they not eating enough and how many cows are too skinny. You don't want to have more than one out of 10 cows skinny. Number three, a good barrier in the udder. There's four things, there's actually you can ruin it by your, by your injections, so be very careful when you do injections in the udder. Um, the machine can ruin it by, by the teeth cups that are too small or, 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 or the wrong vacuum. You can have damage on the teeth ends, or the flies can ruin it. And the flies can actually uh, damage the teeth canal uh, very easily, especially in young stock. And it can be ruined uh, by calves already when they are young. So the, the suckling of the calves, we have this special uh, training on, on, on young stock signals to learn how we can prevent suckling, how we can do a better job in young stock. So all these four factors you can work on on your dairy to have a better barrier in the udder, a safer uh, um, tea dent. And uh, uh, we also have this, this scorebook where you can look at, um, it can also be a problem of the machine, huh, where you, for example, have these teeth and erosions. So in the same checkbook, you can find more stuff like this. Dip or spray? Good question. What do you think? Well, spraying is faster, but it's, it's not so good coverage. And if you actually dip, you have a real safe disinfection of that whole teeth. So all little things that you can do, all little things, dipping the whole teeth is better than just spraying a little bit around it. Number four, antibodies in the blood. So how do you get good antibodies in the blood? Well, simple tool, specific, specific immunity can be reached by vaccination. So one thing is vaccination, the other thing is uh, a good feeding so that cows can actually really um, have a good feed intake uh, and produce enough antibodies uh, that the, the immune system is fully functioning. Also prevent stress because cortisol is fighting against the immune system. So with vaccination you can reach specific uh, antibodies uh, in the blood. And also the feeding is important that the cow can actually produce enough antibodies. So good feeding, good health, uh, summarizing health, resting and feeding, uh, is very important. Number three, good barriers in the teeth. And uh, number four, uh, prevention and vaccination uh, by antibodies in the blood. So, one and one is three. Vaccination and better management will give you better results. Less mastitis, less trouble. So, working, on, uh, working with Miss Other Health on these, on these points will really benefit you a lot. I'll show you a little movie. Uh, on a very successful farm, uh, how things are going uh, on Harry's farm. And it's very interesting what you see in this, uh, in this film. Harry is feeding his cows in the morning, and uh, here you see what happens on his farm. A very successful farmer in the Netherlands, and um, the cows are fat. And what's happening right after feeding? What do you see on this, on this picture? Well, all the cows go and eat, or most of them go and eat, and we see what happens in the next 15 minutes. It's a fast movie. So you see in a few minutes what happens in 15 minutes in this barn. It's very interesting. All the cows come and eat, and there is one feeding place per cow of 70 centimeters. There's a soft sand bed for every cow. The cows are standing on rubber where they eat. And uh, there's no discussion, no fight for feed, because they know there's a place for me. And this is what cows deserve. A soft bed, a feeding place per cow, and he has a very good stress-free calving area for a good starter. This is a 120 cow dairy farm with two robots, and you see half the barn here. We also see the sand lane behind the cows. Eh? They spill sand in the lane, so they have excellent grip, and it's easy to step out of the bed. Um, we, we scrape the, uh, the, uh, the alleys every, uh, every uh, two hours, and this is a very, very nice system. The cows here eat um, 10 times a day, and they rest 14 hours a day. It is possible. And by the way, he's on 5% mastitis only. And you just saw that he took away that one lame cow. That was the one, one cow that is sick in his barn. She's in the treatment, 
Of course, you always have a sick cow. But less than five cases of mastitis out of 120 cows. And that's what happens here on the better farms. If you have an amazing barn and an amazing farmer, you get amazing results. And this is what you can also reach on your farm or in your area with your clients. Showing them the good examples. Showing them this video. Let them understand why things are so good in some farms and not so good on an average farm. So, how can we get to my aim? Less than 10% mastitis around the world. It's far higher in Holland. It's even a lot higher in the world. 50-60% mastitis, cases per year. My best farms are on 1% mastitis. And the bars that we design, the concepts on the best farmers, the better farmers in Holland, with the better barns, they're all below 10%. So I know it's possible. I want to share this knowledge with you. This was the start of it. But we want to really work on less mastitis on dairy farms. 10% or less would be the standard. So I hope we can work on mastitis prevention together. And um, uh, I want to thank uh, Hipra for making this movie. If you want to have more information on trainings, uh, we're, going to, we're going to do some more roadshows and trainings with Hipra. Uh, look at hipra.com for more information on, on, on tools. And if you want, uh, or look at calsignals.com and become a member of our community. So we hope to see you live in my new training center here or anywhere in the world on the new roadshows. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. This was Cal Signals from Holland. Give the cow what she needs because she deserves it.